Happening right now, the race to get vaccinated is ramping up. In a matter of hours, 590,000 more people will be eligible for their shots. And that is as those waiting in previous groups struggle to land appointments. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us how concern over the increased competition brought hundreds of people out in Sherman Heights today. The line is wrapped around this building. Hundreds of people showed up several hours before the vaccination pop up clinic in Sherman Heights even opened, all hoping to get their COVID-19 vaccine. I'm not sure if I will be able to get vaccinated for 100 percent sure, but I'm just hoping. That's all Natalie Wynn could think about. She, like hundreds of others, showed up at the Sherman Heights Community Center, where for one day only, 300 Pfizer vaccines will be given to those who are eligible to get the vaccine. You must also live or work in the 92102 or 92113 zip codes. Natalie says she's trying to get an appointment through the county, but couldn't get through, even trying all of the tips that have been given. You have to get, stay up very late or do that early in the morning. Yeah, to try and keep hitting the refresh button. And she's worried it will get even more difficult to get an appointment. As a state opens up the vaccination tier tomorrow, now allowing those 50 and older to get vaccinated. I'm very anxious. I mean, because the more they open, that means the more people will be um, trying to get, get, the, uh, get vaccinated. So the chances to get to be in line is even harder. While the amount of vaccines the county receives is expected to increase, Supervisor Nora Vargas says by setting up pop-ups like this, they can gauge the interests of those who want to get vaccinated in specific neighborhoods and have a plan in place in anticipation of the arrival of more vaccines. Well, the goal is to make sure that we build an infrastructure so that when, as soon as we get more, more vaccines, people are able to get a vaccination in their arm. Another pop-up clinic is already being scheduled for next month, so those who came today can get their second dose. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.